So we've just arrived at the tea factory in Uba. Bright and early start. Let's roll. Here's the boys all refreshed after breakfast. That's what happens when you have a night off. The devil's juice. Ah, oh, directly the, the smell hits you of the tea. something from here, it's very rich here with the antioxidant, good for the health. That's what the scientists, even now, they have confirmed that this has a lot of antioxidant. We, have, we can drink or we can have it in, in our body. We can have it in, the, in, your, in your blood circulation. Now, a lot of health benefits coming from the chemicals. So we drink a cup of tea. Now, British try to make this as a beverage as a drink, soft drink, or coffee, and any way you drink it. But Chinese use this for their green, herbal drink. But many people like uh, Kenya, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Argentina, Vietnam, Uganda, Turkey, Kenya, all are trying to grow. Now it has become a competitive commercial, commercialized. So we also try to make a good cup of tea, but British they were here 155 years ago. This was a colony of British. They tried to make black tea because they were interested in the flavor. Because there's a flavor that comes from the oxidation. Because the flavor is coming from the oxidation of certain chemicals here. You have chemicals here. Caffeine and amino acid, the polyphenol, carbohydrate, carotene, tannin. Out of these, these caffeine, polyphenol is one of the most important antioxidant which is good for the human health and tea polyphenol is very good and it fights against many dangerous diseases like cancer and cardiovascular therefore we like to attend to this process without destroying these chemicals without destroying the enzymes you can process some tea as a drink you can drink it every day as a casual drink social beverage now i try to recognize the top the plucking should be done like this not to bring the bottom. Yeah. We don't want the bottom. Only the young part, the tender part. Three leaves? Yes, you can say like that. We preferably take one, two, three. Three, oh, that's the best. That's the best. But we include the third or the fourth, which also has softer. The soft ones are always having that chemical. But the hard material doesn't have that. Therefore, it becomes empty cells. Empty cells. But the cells here, they are full of chemicals with water. Now what they do here, we brought yesterday by plucking. They, they do manual plucking, you know. Yeah. They don't use any machine to cut. It's manually touch. Yeah. Because every point that you touch, it should be breakable, not hard enough. Yeah? You find the bottom is hard. Yeah, okay. We don't want the hard ones. We want only the soft here. Yeah? I can break it. Like soft. The soft part of the leaf has the chemical and plus water. Now what we do here, we bring that one from the field. You know the name of this plant? Camellia sinensis. Camellia sinensis. So that is going to be the famous plant, which was discovered by an emperor in China about 5,000 years ago. 
accidentally. He, his heavy was those days to go to the jungle and stay one night. So he had to uh, boil some water under a tree and then he drank it. So while, while he was drinking, some leaves from the tree had fallen there. So he had to drink that one, no alternative, he had to drink that one. The night you can't find for water, other water. So he, had to. So he drank and he felt very fresh himself, refreshed himself. Thereafter, he allowed other people also to drink this. They also confirmed that. So that, that is the practice they started from China, so it is their tradition. They do. We are not going to argue with them. They do anything, any way they like it. They make many types of tea. Green tea, oolong tea, white tea, brick tea, pickle tea, red tea, yellow tea. It's a recipe that they like to do in the kitchen. So it is almost all the teas are kitchen recipes. But here, you are going to see a lot of engineering. Instead of the recipe that was in the kitchen, now here you see a lot of engineering. Because British, given, British gave the responsibility to the engineers to think and design and innovate machines. That's what we are going to see. From A to Z, all engineering. Now, I am trying to tell you, the leaf that is brought here is going to be in the machine. Now, these machines are here with the nylon netting. Yeah. You have the nylon netting, start from here and you can fill up these with 1,500 kilos of the raw material. 1,500 kilos, okay, in one machine. If I put it like this, the first objective to reduce the humidity uh -huh. from the leaf. I use the fan, there is a fan over there, uh -huh. where the air comes under these. It's not an ordinary fan, it's a big fan with a 48 inch diameter. It produces a large volume of air, which comes under these and get pressurized. Because when I put the leaf like this on Very the top, high. it covers, so it has no way to go. It has to go possibly through the clearance of the leaf. So it takes the humidity. Once you take the humidity, you will find that the leaf is now somewhat dry. Somewhat dry. Yeah. So we have taken 45% of the water, weight out. That means 1,500 Very, very dry. Will become 800 kilos. 1,500 becomes 800. It will take some time not to do in a hurry, not to force there. Don't use high temperatures here. Because the chemicals should be concentrated while you take the water. The cells become half inflated balloon. So becoming more concentration, the chemical becoming more concentration and then the water is getting evaporated. Let, it, let the windows be open. Clean, clean air. So natural air. Yeah. If you can do with the natural air without temperature, you can end up with a better flavor. But if you use some temperature, still you will make some tea, but that will not be up to the standard because the temperatures are going to be bad for the tea, yeah. which affect the brightness of the tea, the quality of the tea, and also the flavor of the tea. Therefore, try to avoid as much as possible. That is one. Then after doing, after this, I'm taking these two uh, machine now. Now here we spend about 14-15 hours. How long? 14-15 hours. So when we bring the leaves from the field, they go to the field in the morning, they do the plucking by hand, almost the collection of leaves come to the tree factory every day in the afternoon. Maybe after 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, till 5 o'clock, it will be coming over here. And you have to spread it immediately, yeah. keep the fans on, no. so you will always start that process. Yeah. Number one, which is called as withering process, it's the longest process. Withering is the longest process, it takes about 14 hours. After that, early morning, maybe 1 or 2, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, it may be ready, then you yeah, have yeah. Because the temperatures are very low early morning. Because the British try to do a job in the night because of the temperature. When, when the temperature is low, yeah. you can have a better flavor in the oxidation. Because there is an oxidation going to take place. Now we are trying to break this leaf and release those chemicals. Once the chemicals come out and contact the oxygen from the air, polyphenol gets oxidized. It brings you a flavor which the British liked it because the flavor was very pleasant. Okay? So now we are trying to make a beverage, flavor and quality. You have to go up. 
मैं आराम करने उठ गया था मैंने इन्ना इन्ना उठ गया था पालन डे बड़ा पढ़ी पढ़ा थी ना पालन डे तो ना पालन कटी इन्ना उठ गया था यार मैं 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 machines it's a long process a group a team they've been working since 320 all through the night oh the smell is getting stronger and stronger good to clean the airwaves being twisted over there no cutting the machine doesn't cut it only do do the gentle gentle twisting for oxidation 
oxidation. If you if you break only the oxidation will take place. So you can see. So if you break, if you do this with a limited speed and the limited temperature, the certain temperatures are good for the oxidation, which brings you certain desirable things. But certain temperature will bring you undesirable things. Therefore, the temperature is well monitored. You have to keep a track on the temperature. So we like to keep 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Okay. Because 20 to 25 degrees Celsius will activate the enzyme. Because there, there, there are enzymes plus chemicals. Chemical is the polyphenol. Enzyme is the oxidant, polyphenol oxidase. These two things get together. On that way from the air, oxygen go there. Now the oxygen go and contact the polyphenol, yeah. which can oxidize. Okay? So when we do like this, we get a section of the leaf broken. How do you break it? Come and see. After 30 minutes, I can drop it down. I can open the door at the center. Yeah. And then everything get dropped. 300 kilos get dropped. Then it comes here. So this is the roll breaker. So the broken bits from the leaf, they go down. The lighter stuff, the, the good stuff, it, it comes to the top. But 300 kilos drops from the machine over here. 300 kilos. Come on Very fragile. Number one has come out. Then I do again the liquid over there. Second, I do with a little more pressure. That comes on the second line. Then number three, number four. You get it done like this. Highest quality, low, lower quality. Highest quality, yeah, lowest quality. Highest antioxidant, lowest antioxidant. Anti antioxidant is good for the health. This is good for the taste. Because we put milk and sugar here. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. need milk and sugar here. Because bigger the particles, you don't put too much of pressure, low temperature. Low temperature brings you better flavor and quality. The color, the color, the color comes from the last. Because if you study the chemistry of tea, biochemistry, polyphenol come out and join with an atom of oxygen. It gets oxidized and it brings you along with the amino acid in the tea, a flavor, which is coming prominently, number one. Because the flavor comes in the series of reactions. You might be able to hear me, maybe not, but this machine 
It's the latest, latest machinery and it's laser. It gauges the quality, black and brown, of the teeth and separates it. The brown tea goes to the market for the cheap and the black tea is the, the good quality. First, so yeah. first come is the flavor. Second is the quality, the East Indian taste, which we call as quality, which develops in the polymerization. I think you all know the chemistry of tea, something in the biochemistry. Oxidized polyphenol is an unstable chemical, which return to stability by joining with the other two or three polyphenolic units, which is polymerization. You get TFL, TR formation. TF stands for TFLAVIN. TFLAVIN is exclusively dimeric compound. Dimeric dissolves in the hot water. You drink a cup of tea without milk and sugar, which is good for the health. This is TR, because I put more pressure here. Less pressure here, more pressure here. I get more high temperature. TR formation. TR stands for theorubigins. Theorubigins are predominantly made of a polymeric compound. Polymeric is dark brown color. You put milk and sugar, because the heat brings you different chemical formation, right? To strengthen the color. In a cup of tea, you get flavor and quality that is initially coming with a low temperature. Strengthen the color, also you need a little bit to make a good cup of tea. So you take a proportion, flavor, quality, strength, a bit of color. It's not equal, it's not equal. You can make 35, 30, 65%. You can make 20, 50, like that. If you increase these two in the machine, you get more stronger tea. If you increase these two, you get more flavoury quality tea. The market is looking forward to get better flavour. This is what they are looking at. So, that's what we do. Number one, break number one. So this one is the... It's an oxidation. Yeah. With the oxidation process. This one is very fragile and it creates the best quality of tea. The second one also is a good quality of tea but you don't need to add any sugar, it's very much flavour. This one is you can add a little bit of milk and and it's it's more for more for the sweetness. And this one you add milk and it's uh, the standard tea but uh, the quality it's different, that's why you add sugar and milk. Okay? 
it come down. You get that tea blacker. The tea turns blacker because the chlorophyll, what is green color, yes. is going to get converted to black. Yes. And we stop the activities of the Nothing goes to waste. Yes. Nothing goes. Now for the plant, keep that. Plant it. I put again. Because it has some nitrogen. You can use it for the nourishment of the soil. You can get. It's like organic, organic fertilizer. Organic. Now you get your seed there. The tea, all of the tea leaves are mixed together and it's to make a balance so all of the tea you get the flavor you get the strength you get the quality all in all in one so it's balanced Long tea. 
in the college of Ceylon. Ceylon is the name of the country. Mm -hmm. Now, you try the second cup. See the difference between these two? Okay. It is stronger for It's slightly stronger. Yes. You're getting little by little. You can see the color. The color is, is gained the color. Color gaining is the later part. So you can see the morning. Does this one have more like polyphenol? More, more polyphenol, more antioxidant. Okay. Good for the health. Oh, almost like honey flavor. That's right. If you want to make my tea at home, I'll leave it to sit in the water, the, the bag, for like three minutes. Uh, and then it comes this okay. colour. The bitterness comes from the astringent taste. Yeah. It's a medicine, yes. It's the value of the medicine, astringent, coming from the oxidation. This is the tea we drink in the morning. It has a little bit of caffeine activity. Mm -hmm. It stimulates, stimulates you to get up. This yes. caffeine or tea? No, no, caffeine and tea. A little bit of caffeine, but caffeine is there. One third of coffee. Coffee has too much, but this has one third of coffee. Ah. Caffeine. So it's more caffeine here and less caffeine? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is like stronger. Yeah. That's what we call all stronger. Yeah. I like this one. Shaka is. People like because different taste with different taste could be purchased by different people. So they are that's what we are dividing the sizes. There's a reason for the dividing, the size of it. Otherwise, we'll put everything together. Every morning, they pick all the leaves? Yes. And the Full support for rendering the visit of the Anasomeric Warfare. Course. 2018, the Navy. Hapliwati. Trip advisor. <laughs>